sketchbooks open. It's going to be a watercolor townscape in Hudson, New York. What I like about the scene is the way this block of five townhouses are framed in by a dark silhouette of St. Mary's Church behind. What I want to establish early on is the big statement of light versus dark and warm versus cool. The buildings themselves are the warm and light mass and is cooler and darker relatively around. I'm also attracted to the contrast of shapes, the wild, jagged tree branches versus the rectilinear architecture. Another contrast to the rational, four-square, even, measured, sort of Georgian architecture of those townhouses, you've got the romantic, gothic sort of uh, spires of this Victorian-style Catholic Church and the way it lines up those are a dark gray behind the light mass of the uh, townhouse facade I've only got about 45 minutes before the light fades here so I have to work efficiently and I've been using a contrast between big brushes and little brushes. This is a little rigger brush. In a scene like this, I'm always attracted to the contrast between big shapes accomplished with big brushes and wet paint and delicate, dry, small details that I can use either by dry brushing or by using a very fine brush for super fine details. Two ways to paint a branch, either away from the trunk, out toward the tip where you taper it as you go, or from the outside in. The moment I'm doing it as it grows from the base outwards, but you can do it the other way too. And then for the finer detail of branches, a split brush, dry brush effect can lay down a lot of twigs at once. The dryness has to be just right. Five townhouses, each painted a different color, each four stories tall, each with three windows across each floor, and because they're in perspective, the lines will get a little tighter and closer as we go to the, from left to right. Okay. 
we've got a concert to go to and rain is coming, so I'll have to finish up soon. If you like this video, you'll probably enjoy my full-length tutorial, Watercolor in the Wild. I'll put links in the description to that video on Gumroad, also to the special ones on casein and gouache. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.